I really believe that if a city is going to thrive or any community, it's going to be because of the people. And I'm exploring how can you engage people to see themselves as being the solution. My name is Shane Endicott. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I'm the former executive director and founder of Our United Villages and the Rebuilding Center. Over 20 years ago, I really got interested in how communities solve problems. And I started working in my own community and started discovering that there were some untapped assets and resources that if we just leveraged them, we could make a huge difference. And that experience inspired me to launch our United Villages. From there, I learned a lot about organizations. And what I discovered was that it was really important to make sure that you had a strong foundation to do the work that you really wanted to do. And that inspired the idea of doing the Rebuilding Center. At the time, there was nothing in Portland where you could take anything that was reusable and use building and remodeling materials. What I ended up doing was looking at how to create a model that would accept anything from a doorknob to the entire components that make up a home, and then use those materials to encourage people to get involved in their communities and solve problems. When I was putting the plan together for the Rebuilding Center, I was really focused on how could you maximize the benefits of creating this service. The goal was to create jobs, put resources back into the community as well as have incredible environmental benefits. And that's what it did. We were able to create six to eight jobs for every one job by launching a department called Deconstruction Services, where we go out and actually bid on removing buildings and homes that have been slated for demolition. And when we would go out and do that and tell people we're here to bid on deconstructing the building, they would say, well, what do you mean deconstruct? And we'd say, we're going to take it apart by hand. And they literally would say, you can't take this building apart by hand, then we would respond with, it was built by hand. <laughs> what motivates me to do what I do is seeing what people can do to make a positive difference in the world. I see so much potential and I see so many people doing good things that are making a difference and I really am motivated to see that become the norm. Instead of something we celebrate and something that we have to look at as a unique behavior, I'm hopeful to make it the normal condition to make the world the best place it could possibly be for everyone. The Loeb Fellowship was a huge opportunity. I really wanted to explore a whole different way of trying to achieve the outcomes that I was working for in Portland. And I'm looking at how technology could be a tool in that effort, and especially around how people react and respond to problems. 